Hi team, I hope you're all well and before we get into this video and I let you know what I'm planning on reading, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video who are Boxu. Um, I really appreciate them sponsoring this video and sending over this box as well. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight to your home. Every month you'll receive a box with a different theme. The snacks will always be different. It's a gourmet journey through Japan every month. And it's really, really nice as well. I really enjoy getting these snacks because I don't tend to eat Japanese snacks on the regular. So it's really nice to get these and have a bit of a taste of Japan in my home. The box is shipped straight from Japan and you can get free shipping if you are in the US. And this is not my first Boxu box either. I've really enjoyed the other Boxu boxes that I have received and I've really enjoyed their snacks. My family have enjoyed the snacks as well, so I would recommend them. And you can use my code STEF20 to get 20% off your first box from Boxu. This is a limited time code. So I will leave a link to the website where you can get one of these from and also the code in the description box down below. Please do go check them out. They are fantastic. So thank you to Boxu for sponsoring my video. Um, I really, really appreciate it let's get to reading hello team i hope you're all well it is currently 1 30 on saturday afternoon saturday the 24th i am currently on day eight of my self-isolation for covid um and <clears throat> this is the first time I've properly felt like I want to read. Yesterday was the first day I picked a book up. So this is the first time that I've properly wanted to read. It's really cooled down outside. There's a nice breeze coming through my house now, which is nice. Because it's been very hot for the last week. But I thought that it, this would be a good opportunity. I have to isolate until the end of play on Monday. Um, so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to do like a 48 hour reading vlog and see how much I can get read. Um, I want to do it 48 hour because I still want it to be a bit chill. I am still a little scatterbrained, I'm more than usual because I'm usually scatterbrained anyway. But I am still a little scatterbrained so um, it's a nice opportunity for me to still watch some TV if that's what I want to do. But I am getting bored of sitting and watching TV all day. So it would be nice to actually read and you know do a bit of work <laughs> um so the pile that i have here is very large um to give me options because i'm at, at, with my scatterbrain i am all over the place with what i actually want to read so i am part way through two books yesterday i started orion lost by alistair chisholm this is on my bookopoly tbr which i am gonna fail which is fine um but i still wanted to read it because i've heard really good things um, and I thought this would be nice and easy to ease me back into reading since I hadn't picked a book up in like seven days. So I picked this up yesterday um, and I got to page 80. It's really good. This is a middle grade sci-fi. Um, we're following a 13 year old called Beth um, and they are on this ship called Orion and basically this ship keeps like jumping. Um, so they have to keep going into cryopods to sleep, but the adults have like this sleep thing on them And then something happens there's an incident where an emergency jump happens and something happens to the adults I'm not sure what it is, but Beth then is in charge of Orion because um, she's the most qualified and Orion is lost. I'm not sure where we go from there But I'm only 80 pages in and I'm enjoying it so far. It's really good nice easy read um easy to get through so it would be nice to finish that then i also have isn't it romantic by lissa k adams which i did start just before i got covid um and then put down and then i picked it back up again last night so i was on page 101 i'm now on page 174 so i'm over halfway through the book i think um and i'm really enjoying this this is the fourth in the bromance book club series and i'm really really loving it and in this one we're following the russian and his wife eleanor elena eleanor um and uh it's really good i'm really enjoying it so highly recommend this series it's really really good um so having a good time with this one so those are the two that i'm part way through that i would like to finish both of them um and then my options i always have too many options if you're new here you will not know this but if you've been here a while you'll know that i always pick too many options but i like to have options so 
that's what we have. So first one is Falling by TJ Newman. I got this while I was with Jade and I got it from her local independent bookstore. This is a, a thriller. Basically a pilot is taking off for, on a plane from um, New York. 143 passengers on board. Um, and what you don't know is that 30 minutes before the flight, the pilot's family was kidnapped. For his family to live, he needs to crash the plane and kill everybody on board. Um, so it sounds really, really interesting. And I actually kind of feel like I'm in a little bit of a thriller mood, which is nice because I haven't for a really long time. I can't remember the last time I picked a thriller up. So that's an option. Then I have Artificial Condition and also Road Protocol, which are books two and three in the Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. Um, I really enjoyed the first one in this series and I now have, uh, I think, possibly all of them because you guys have gifted me the rest, which is amazing. So yeah, I have these ones. These are really easy, fast paced reads, really interesting and I would like to continue on with this series. So this is an option, they're short as well, which is nice and easy. Um, and then I have You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. Really enjoyed Beach Read by Emily Henry that I read last year, so I wouldn't mind reading this one. Following Poppy and Alex, who met 12 summers ago, um, who hate each other and pretty confident they'll never speak again. Then 11 summers ago, they're forced to share a ride home from college, and by the end of it, a pact is formed. Every year, one vacation together. 10 summers ago, Alex discovers his fear of flying. Poppy holds his hand the whole way. 7 summers ago, they get far too drunk and narrowly avoid getting matching tattoos in New Orleans. Two summers ago, it all goes wrong. This summer, Poppy asks Alex to join her on one last trip. Could this trip make them realise they're not just friends after all? Sounds really good. And then we get into the books you guys have gifted me. So we've got Sex Life, which is 44 chapters about men by B.B. Easton. This is a memoir and it was gifted to me by Becca for Becca in the Books. So thanks, Becca, for this one. And this is now a Netflix series. So I have binged the series. I freaking loved it. I forced Becca to watch it she freaking loved it um so yeah there is this one which will essentially be a little bit like porn in a book so is anyone surprised absolutely fucking not then i have the right swipe by alicia ray i've heard really good things about this one so i'm really interested in reading this one and this one was gifted to me by rebecca so thank you rebecca for gifting me this one um i assume this is online dating you know right swipe stuff tinder and whatnot dare to live dare to love by nicole c moon this is gifted to me by maddie thanks maddie for this one and this is obviously uh indie published so i'm really interested in this one i'm just really obsessed with the cover quite frankly i don't know much what this is about um but yeah really interested in this one you will notice there's a theme here lots of romance um, then we have We Can't Keep Meeting Like This by Rachel Lynn Solomon, which is, I think, probably more like a YA romance, but it looks more adultish of YA, maybe. I don't know, but cake's involved, so I'm interested. Weakness? Cake. Yes, cake is my weakness. And also The Sad Ghost Club by Lizzie Meddings, which I've read before, but it's a graphic novel, and it might be nice just to read something really easy. Um, I don't know who got me these two, but they came together. So if you got me these, thank you very much. Um, so those are my options. The bells are ringing at the church down the road. That's really cute. Um, so those are my options. So we'll see how many of those I get through. Obviously not all of them. But very quickly, I also have a parcel. So let's open this. This is from me. To me. That was terrible. Someone must be getting married. I love that. So this is a second-hand hardback copy of A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas because I don't have a hard copy of this. Um, I do now, but um, it is the newer version, which I hate the covers of. But I have the Illumicrate... Was it Illumicrate? I think it was Illumicrate. I have the Illumicrate versions, um, you know, dust jackets. And I really needed a copy of this so that I could put the dust jacket on it. Uh, so I get to replace this really shitty dust jacket with a new one. Um, I do kind of like the colours underneath though. I did think about buying all of these to put those covers on. Um, all of this set because I really like the colours underneath. It's the only thing I like about this edition of these books. I do have the original hardbacks and I really like those original covers. So I kind of wanted to get the new ones take the covers off that I don't like, put the special edition covers on that I've got, and then I've got a set of the original covers and the new covers, um, and a special edition covers, but 
Um, I haven't done that yet. Maybe I might do that in future, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's nice to have this version now. Yay for me, I can put the new cover on that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get to reading now because, you know, it's already 20 to almost quarter to two. So we're going to run till about half past one on Monday because I still can't leave the house till Tuesday morning. So um, I might as well get some stuff done. Uh, so, yeah, that's my plan. So I will check back in with you when I've got an update for you. I think it all came back When I was looking back at you Oh how I've missed those sights You must have missed mine too Did you breathe me in? If you would only know That you in my air Hello, hello. It is a little bit later. It's currently almost three o'clock, but I've had some parcels, so I thought I would open these with you. Um, I have been reading, not a great deal. Um, I've been watching Leanne's sprints, so um, I'm now on page 216 of this. Uh, I would really like to finish this today. It's going really well, actually. So um, we will carry on with that in a second, but uh, I thought I would open these because these came earlier so let's open them and find out what's inside this is very light considering it's a box which wrapped hope you're doing okay and feeling better just a little thing to make isolation a bit better parcels make everything better i think from zoe zoe you are 100 percent correct especially as i've gotten closer and closer to release day um these have been making things so much easier because it's really hard to be on your own for such a long period of time not only that but um i was actually at home on my own thursday and friday as well before i started my isolation on saturday so i've actually been on my own for 10 days now so i've already done like 10 days on my own and i've got another three to go including today so we'll see how that goes but i got oh yes dead voices by katherine arden which will be perfect for Halloween. I read Small Spaces recently and really enjoyed it, so I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series. And the third one in this series comes out in um, October or November, maybe September, I can't remember, but there's a third one coming out. So this is like middle grade horror and I love it, it's so good. So yes, thank you so much Zoe for this one, I really appreciate it. Oh, it's chunky. <gasps> oh. There's no note and half the box is on the back of the book. God damn. There is no note, but it's The Sword of Kagan by M.L. Wang. I've heard amazing things about this. So I really wanted to give this a go. Um, half the box is on the back of the thing and I tried to peel it off, but um, it peels the lamination of the book off, which is annoying. So we'll leave that there. Um, but yeah, I've heard incredible things about this, so I'm really looking forward to giving this one a go. A, no note, so I'm not sure who gifted me this one, but thank you to whoever it was. Please do let me know if it was you. And then the last one also has no note. Whoops. I don't think. Yeah, no note uh, for this one either, but this is... Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells, which is book six in the Murderbot Diary series. So thank you to whoever gifted me this one. It doesn't say who it's from, unfortunately. But thank you to whoever it was. I really appreciate it. You did not have to at all, but thank you so much. Um, so yeah, some cute little book mail to help get me through. Thanking you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and carry on with Isn't It Romantic. I actually need to go and find a charged battery as well because this one's dying now. So um, I will do that. But yes, I will check back in with you when I finish this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. It is quite a bit later. It's now 10 p.m. Um, and I wanted to update you on... Update you? Update you? update you on how I'm getting on with reading. Um, I have finished reading Isn't It Romantic by Lissa K. Adams. This is the fourth, I hope not, the final book in the Romance Book Club. And this one is following Vlad, who is the Russian, um, and his wife, Elena. So Elena's dad, a really long time ago, um, was a journalist in Russia, and he was kidnapped and thought to be killed. 
um, he is MIA and Elena and the Russian Vlad essentially got married in thought so that she could go with him to America where he plays ice hockey professionally um, and stay safe. She has been in Chicago for several years um, at uni learning journalism um, and they haven't had much of a marriage and basically this is the story of them kind of working on that. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was really good getting Vlad's side of things because I've really enjoyed him since book one, his character in general. So it's really good to get his side of things and him have a story um, and also find out about more. And I really enjoyed Elena as a character as well. And I enjoyed seeing the guys again from the Bromance Book Club and also meeting the loners um, who are a group of women who live in the area um, on the estate that Vlad lives on. And they basically... Um, are all divorced or widows. It was really nice to meet them as well um, and yeah I had a really great time with this. I gave this five stars. It was so good. I really hope this isn't the last in the series but Lissa usually does give away in the back of the book that we will see the guys again so I don't know if it is or not. I'm really hoping it's not. I kind of, I think I've always said this but I kind of hope that one day she'll do a queer one um, so one of the guys may be queer but um, I don't know. So I finished this five stars for this one and then I did decide to pick up Falling by TJ Newman. I ummed an ad between some of the other romance books and I really wanted to pick a romance up but also this has like been catching my eye for several days now and I kind of really wanted to pick a thriller up so uh, that's what I've decided to do. I am now 105 pages in as well. I'm a decent chunk in so not quite halfway but not far far off either. And this is basically a pilot named Bill uh, has left his home that morning. Got on a call once he's on his flight from LA to JFK. His wife and two children have been kidnapped and they are being threatened. Either he crashes the plane and kills everyone on board or his family dies. And he's trying to figure out a way to not crash the plane but also save his family so uh, we follow several different POVs in this we follow Bill who is the pilot we follow Joe who is one of the air hostesses and we also follow Theo who is a guy in the FBI so yeah really interesting so far very gripping um, I just really wanted to kind of show the end papers in here as well because I just think they're so beautiful um, so yeah, really glad that I picked this one up. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. It's really good. I haven't read a thriller in so long. I honestly couldn't tell you the last thriller I read, so I'm really enjoying this. Um, but yeah, so I am hoping to finish this one, if not tonight, because I actually think I might go up and watch a movie now. Um, but if not tonight, then tomorrow morning, hopefully. Um, I do still want to finish Orion Lost this weekend I think but that might be like the last thing I pick up possibly yeah I'll keep you posted on what I decide to pick up after this one but so far having a good time so these kind of match too pretty oh wow they really match the red the yellow the blue amazing I wonder I don't know I don't think too much into it Steph so I'm gonna go um, and I will probably check back in with you at some point tomorrow um, and let you know how I'm getting on. The next day. Good morning. It is Sunday and uh, I'm here to give you an update. Yes, I'm dressed in the same clothes. Yes, I have my hair up the same way. I have zero routine at the moment, uh, routine at the moment and I'm pretty much just living in similar clothes on the basis that then I don't have as much to wash. <laughs> once my uh, quarantine is over because I'm just not sure how, you know, the virus sticks to things and stuff. So I wanna make sure I'm not having to wash all of my wardrobe if I can help it. So also this is comfy, so no judgments, thank you. Um, I read another book last night when I got in bed and I read The Sad Ghost Club by Lizzie Meddins. Um, this is a reread, I've read this before. I got an e-arc of this before it came out. Obviously that's what an e-arc is. And I gave this four stars. This is a really cute graphic novel about the Sad Ghost Club, which is essentially a club um, that this is how the club kind of comes together. I think there's gonna be a second graphic novel of the club kind of 
becoming more of a thing. But uh, we follow a character who uh, essentially um, struggles with anxiety and depression and uh, they force themselves to go to a party and uh, we watch the struggle of them talking themselves into going to this party throughout the day and they come across another person in the corner of the room who also appears to be part of this sad ghost club. Everybody that's part of it kind of looks like this. They have like a sheet over their head um, and look like a ghost. And yeah, it's basically a book about anxiety and depression and how you can still support others when you're struggling or suffering and uh, how sometimes coming together with other people can help you as well. Um, it's really, really good. I really enjoy it and I gave it four stars for the second time. It was really good. Um, cute, fast read. Very important. Some good messages in here. Um, so I'm going to carry on. Jade's got some Patreon sprints on now. So I'm going to carry on reading Falling and hopefully finish this before like the 24 hour mark maybe. And then I don't know what I'm going to go on to. Jade and Gav are doing sprints tonight to do kind of race and read City of Rust and I forgot I wanted to read that this month so I kind of want to pick that up this evening. So I might go on to Orion Lost after this one, try and finish Orion Lost and see if I can finish City of Rust tonight or at least start it and get part way through and finish that tomorrow. So I think that's going to be my plan. So not as much romance as I thought I was going to read but I'm having a good time nonetheless and I'm getting through some books so that's a positive. So I'm going to carry on reading this now and I will check back in with you when I've got an update and see you in a little bit. If you would only know that you in my air for every second everywhere I go so why are we hiding? Hello, it's currently 20 past three and I have an update for you but also passing so let's open this first. They're from Cody. Just a little something to hopefully make you smile. Hope you feel better soon. I do love you the most, Cody. Cody. Yes. Okay, so she got me Jade War by Fonda Lee, which is the second in the Jade City series. Jade Legacy comes out, I think, later on this year. Is it November or December? I can't remember. But I actually surprisingly really enjoyed Jade City. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with this series. And I know it's one of Cody's favourites as well. And then I also got Soul Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. Which I've heard really good things about. And I really wanted a copy of this to read for in October. For spooky season. Because I've heard great things. So let's get this out of here. It's not very often I get books from... Um, from Amazon with cellophane on them. I'm not sure why it has cellophane on it. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. Uh, but is this, oh yeah, boy. Nice, I thought it might be. It looked like it had the pages like One Last Stop does, where it's dead floppy. Um, so that's two very floppy books from my Cody. Thank you, baby. I love you the most. Um, you didn't have to at all, but thank you. I love you. You're an angel. Um, so, reading update, what a girl, uh, reading update, um, I finished The Falling by TJ Newman, I really enjoyed this, it's been ages since I've read a thriller, um, and I'm really glad I picked this one up, because it was definitely calling to me short enough, uh, with enough intrigue and snap to keep me on the edge of my seat and want to keep reading. Really enjoyed it. It's not very often I pick up books about hostage situations and especially on a plane on the basis that I really enjoy flying. I really enjoyed it, had a great time with this um, and I would highly recommend for those of you that enjoy your thrillers. It was really good, had me on the edge of my seat from start to finish and yeah, really enjoyed it. So highly recommend. Um, I gave it four stars in the end. It was really good and I just really love this cover and like I say, I'm obsessed with the end pages as well is the end papers oh nice um so yeah really enjoyed it four out of five stars so i'm gonna carry on now i'm still on jade's sprint she's got 38 minutes of this current sprint left so i'm gonna carry on with orion lost and get as far as i can with this before jade and gav sprints tonight where they're doing the race for city of rust which i entirely forgot i wanted to read this month because my mind has been blown to pieces because of covid so um yeah 
if I can finish this awesome I don't think I will before her sprints tonight but we'll see how far I can get with this and then I want to pick up City of Rust and get as far as I can with this and then I will try and finish both of these tomorrow uh before 1 30 so we'll see how that goes but that's my aim but i'm really happy so far with how much i've read i finished as nip romantic and read the sad ghost club and also read all of falling so really happy and if i could finish these two as well that would be awesome so we'll see how it goes i've just filmed my roles for book Hopley as well really happy with how that's gone so i currently have a poll up on patreon for my patrons to pick one of my books for the month of August so we'll see how that goes but yeah so I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna order some food as well it's only 25 past three but I'm really hungry and I want to pre-order some food so I will check back in with you and I've got an update for you and I'll see you in a bit approximately 10 hours later hello hello it's currently quarter past midnight I'm still sat here I'm about to go up to bed I'll probably watch something in bed now as well um because I've been going to sleep really late the last few days and I'm not sure why. So um, that's the thing that I'm doing now. But I wanted to give you another update because I've finished another book. Um, I started and finished City of Rust during Jade and Gav's sprints. They managed it in three sprints, it took me five. Um, but I am a really slow reader, especially of fantasy and sci-fi um so yeah but i really enjoyed this i gave it four stars this is following uh rayleigh i think that's how you pronounce her name um and her gecko gecko what's it called bio robotic gecko atty and basically they live in like this dystopia type world where everything is just rubbish um and uh, she gets tracked down one day basically her and her gecko are part of this kind of like drone racing they're involved with drone racing she ends up getting tracked down by junkers who want the gecko for one reason or another um and she realizes that uh the planet basically that she lives on is in grave danger from a junk bomb trash bomb huge trash bomb that will destroy the entire world uh, unless her and Atty do something to save it. So it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Loved Atty. Um, he was adorable. And I really enjoyed her grand's character as well. Um, just enjoyed a lot about this book. The characters were really good. I really hope we get more from these. I don't know if this is meant to be a series or not, but I really hope Gemma Fowler does more with this set of characters. Because I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. I gave it four stars. So. so I would highly recommend. A lot of fun. Very adventurous. Have you on the edge of your seat. I've read it in one sitting. So um, yeah. Really, really good. Amazing. Really enjoyed it. So that's my fourth book finished for this 48 hour reading vlog. Which I was not expecting to do at all. Which is amazing. So I'm really, really happy I finished another two books today which is really cool and I've gotten a lot further into Orion Lost as well. I now only have like 136 pages to go of this so I'm hoping to finish that in the morning and that will probably be like my last book of the reading vlog depending on what time it is when I finish it. Tomorrow is my last day of isolation so end of play Monday is my last day of isolation. I will be staying home on the Tuesday just to double check and make sure and also give myself the chance to decontaminate the house and um, disinfect everything and stuff. I've got loads of disinfectant wipes and some spray so I can go around and do the whole house. Um, so I'm going to spend a lot of tomorrow actually washing like my bedding and my clothes that I've been wearing, towels I've been using etc so that I can make sure that they're all clean and disinfectant disinfected as well um and yeah i'm going to be doing a lot of that tomorrow and also filming in the afternoon but this vlog will finish around half one ish um i'll probably wrap it up around that time uh and yeah i've had a really good time I, it's been really nice to get back into reading as well considering i didn't pick anything up for like eight eight or nine days i think it was um it's been really nice to pick a couple of books back up as well and just get straight back into the routine of reading it's been really nice so I'm hoping that tomorrow afternoon I'll be able to start a new reading vlog and pick something straight back up and fall straight back into that as well we'll see what happens so yeah so I'm gonna go to bed now I could finish this off now to be honest but I don't want to um I'm kind of tired I've done a lot of reading today uh so I kind of just want to stick a bit of tv on 
in bed so I think I'm going to do that and then yeah that will be uh, the end tomorrow when I finish this uh, maybe one more thing we'll see uh, but I am going to go to bed and I will check back in with you in the morning or when I've next got an update in fact it'll probably just be the wrap up to be perfectly honest so I will see you then the next day hello hello my hair's looking a little wild because I've left it to dry on its own um, it's currently 10 to 2 and I just finished my final book for this readathon and now we're going to wrap it up. Let's just go through now everything that I have read this weekend um, because I had a really good reading weekend and I'm really happy with what I managed to finish in the 48 hours. So the first book that I finished was Isn't It Romantic by Lisa K. Adams which I gave five stars. Really really enjoyed this one. So glad that we got Vlad's story finally and I do hope this isn't the last in the series. Then I reread The Sad Ghost Club by Lizzie Meddings and I gave this one four stars which is what I gave it the first time I read it. Really enjoyed this one. Great graphic novel about anxiety and depression. Really appreciate the rep in here then I read Falling by TJ Newman which I gave four stars really great thriller and just entirely reminded me why I do love picking up a good thriller every now and then which I haven't done so far this year so as if I remember correctly anyway so I'm really glad that I picked this one up really really enjoyed it highly recommend last night I read in its entirety City of Rust by Gemma Fowler this one I really enjoyed I also gave this four stars it was really good and I really hope this isn't the last we see of these characters I'd love to see more from Atty um, and also from Ray Rayleigh as well I think Rayleigh is how you pronounce her name uh, but yeah really enjoyed this one really really cute and then I have just finished Orion Lost by Alistair Chisholm um, which I really also really enjoyed I gave this four stars it did there were a couple of instances where it did remind me of Illuminate I got the wrong end of the stage but it did remind me of Illuminae for a little bit and then also this splintered silence it was like a middle grade version of that a little bit as well really really enjoyed it for the majority of the book though I entirely forgot this was middle grade um the kids act so much older than they are uh but it was really good really enjoyed it this is a middle grade sci-fi in which um uh, 13 year old Beth and her friends have to navigate through the treacherous and uncharted territory to reach safety but a heavily damaged ship, space pirates and mysterious alien species and artificial intelligence that Beth doesn't know she can trust means that getting her home has getting home has never been so difficult. Uh, basically all of the parents they don't wake up from one of the jumps that they do and the kids are now in charge and Beth has been deemed the captain of the ship by the ship. So it was really good i really enjoyed it four stars for this one so yeah had a really good reading weekend um and i'm really happy with all of these i know i was already halfway through isn't it romantic um and i think i was a little bit part way through orion lost as well but overall really really impressed considering i didn't pick a book up for like nine days i'm really happy with what i managed so yeah really glad that i did this this weekend um i hope you have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below what you got up to over the weekend did you read anything what were you doing um and i hope you are all well and i shall see you in the next one bye for now